Tyler Terry, we're talking about a website with designer clothes, dresses, and bathing suits for a fraction of what others charge and on time delivery. Is it worth it? The KV Defenders purchased some of those dresses, and you'll see what came in the mail. You got them shining bright on the red carpet. Hollywood's flawless leave many seen green with envy. You look hot. Thank you. A new online store now offers similar dresses at sizzling deals. Many of their ads you've likely seen on your Facebook feed. And here's another one of their ads. Regina Schneider saw this shirt last year for $10 and clicked. It took the Taylor resident to a website called DressLily.com. Everything that's hot in style, anything most women would be interested in. The retailer shows off designer clothes, bathing suits, and glamorous gowns, often for under $20. And I guess in a way that should also tell you that something's not right here because you never see. But you couldn't help yourself. Yes, you couldn't help yourself. So she bought it. Schneider says Dress Lily claimed it would ship within six to eight days. It never arrived. And she's not the only one complaining. But there's so many women that I see in the comment section of their ads that never receive their stuff. According to the Better Business Bureau, complaints about similar online stores have soared 1,300% across the country since 2010. Most about delivery problems, but many complain about quality and size issues too. We found multiple websites with Dress Lily consumers posting pictures of their complaints, like this one called knockoffnightmares.com. It shows many pictures of how the dresses looked on Dress Lily's website and how they fit once they arrived. The KV Defenders wanted to know what would happen if we purchased clothes on Dress Lily as well. So we put it to the test. See? With the help of KVU anchors Quita Culpepper, Corey Coffin, and Tina Shively. This dress is beautiful. I mean, it's. We asked them to pick out what they consider Oscar worthy dresses on the website. That's amazing. Look at that dress. This is going to be a while. No, it's not. Tina picked this gown for $17. Quita chose this beauty for $30. And Corey was drawn to this stunning dress for $16. And that'll look perfect with your skin and your hair. Oh. I love it. Nearly four weeks later, Quita and Corey's dresses, which we paid express shipping for, were a no show. But Tina's dress. Well, our dress came in the mail today. Did arrive. Doesn't really look like an Oscar gown from the outside, that's for sure. So, how did it look and fit? It's time for the big reveal. Okay, well, it looks like um, not what the picture said here. Here again is how the dress looked online, and here's what it looks like in person. It looks like plastic. Material, it does. It feels like plastic. The stitching's poor, too. There are three buttons and seven button loops. One of the buttons looks like it's about to fall off. Not only unworthy for the Oscars, but almost anywhere. Clothing. If I wasn't wearing clothing underneath this dress, you'd never be able to wear this in public. The BBB isn't surprised. Uh, consumers are also telling BBB that the quality that they thought they were getting is not there, and they have to have somebody else really fix it, at going to a professional tailor to make it so that they can wear it. Certainly spending more money. And that's the cutest bathing suit. An online store, many say, isn't delivering its clothes or its promise of designer quality. We reached out to Dress Lily for an interview but did not hear back. According to the BBB, Dress Lily operates under several names like SammyDress.com. So how can you find out who owns a website? It's easy. Go to whois.com. Simply copy and paste the address and it shows up. As you can see, when we put Dress Lily's web address in, it shows it's registered in Beijing. Back to you.